Okay, so I wanted to make this video because I recently did my multi-engine commercial add-on in a Diamond DA42 Twin Star. And when I was trying to learn these systems for the airplane, I found it was a little hard because the Diamond manual uh, explanations are not the greatest. And so eventually after having found a number of different sources and piecing together how things worked, I thought I would try and make this video and explain things uh, for the anti-ice or de-ice system for the twin star uh, to help out people in a similar situation. So um, the DI system for the twin star is a uh, system that uses DI fluid um, and a weeping wing system uh, as well as some other components. Um, so it uses this uh, glycol based DI fluid that is stored in a tank in the nose of the airplane on the uh, if you open the right nose door, you'll see the tank. And it uses a number of electric pumps to distribute the glycol fluid around the airplane. And it's all controllable from a panel in the cockpit. Uh, so it's kind of two separate systems. So it is a windshield de-ice system. And that uses this uh, bar right here with a number of nozzles that sprays de-ice fluid onto the windshield and two electric pumps for that system. So that's one part, and then the other part is the prop and airframe de-ice, and that has another set of two electric motors that distribute the glycol-based de-ice fluid, um, and that goes to the leading edge of the wings, where there are uh, metal panels with a bunch of tiny little holes drilled in them that secrete this glycol de-ice fluid. And the same is true on the leading edge of the vertical stabilizer and horizontal stabilizers. Uh, and then there are also these slinger rings in the prop hubs. And you can see right here that the prop uh, has these small little tubes extending out of the prop hub. Uh, and when the prop spins and the system is turned on, de-ice fluid is slung out of those tubes and up along the leading edge of the prop to de-ice the prop. All right, so I'll talk about the uh, prop and airframe de-ice system first. Uh, like I said, they're kind of two separate systems, that and the windshield de-ice. So the switch for the prop and airframe de-ice is right here, and you can see it's now set to norm uh, before it was set to off. So the norm setting, uh, when you set that, uh, the two pumps the two electric pumps for the prop and airframe DIs are both turned on and they'll cycle on and off. Uh, 30 seconds with both pumps on and then 90 seconds with them both off and it'll just continuously cycle on and off like that um, with that time interval. Um, these lights here indicate the current setting you've selected uh, and so the white light comes on uh, with the norm setting showing that that's what you've selected. Uh, and so the two pumps take fluid from the tank and distribute it out and it goes up into the prop hubs and is slung out onto the blades and it also goes out the weeping wing panels in the leading edge of the wing and it goes back and is uh, distributed to the panels in the leading edge of the vertical and horizontal stabilizer. And with a full tank of uh, the de-ice fluid lasts about two and a half hours on that norm setting. Okay, then uh, if the norm setting is not enough, then you can set the switch to the high setting. In that case, the white light and this first orange light are both illuminated now. And with the high setting, uh, just one of the pumps is running, but it's running continuously. It just runs constantly distributing that fluid. Um, and which pump it is that is going to be the one that runs, that is selected with this pump one, pump two switch down here. This also has a function for the windshield. Uh, de-ice, but um, it, uh, in this case it chooses which of the pumps is going to be the active one when you have set this to high. So this is in high. In this case pump 1 is selected, so pump 1 just runs continuously as long as you have it set to high. Uh, and in that case with a full tank of fluid you're going to last about an hour uh, with that high setting for the airframe and prop de-ice. Alright, and then if the high setting is still not enough, 
there is uh, one more step up. You can go to the max setting, but you'll notice there isn't a selection for that with this switch. The way you get it is by pushing this button right here. And once you push that, uh, now you can see all three of these lights are on, showing that the max setting has been selected. Um, and that lasts for about two minutes every time that you push that button. So it's not something you set on and then it just runs at that setting. Uh, you have to push it as long as you still want that. You keep pushing that every two minutes. Um, so two minutes. And when you do that, both pumps run continuously. So in this case for two minutes. And then uh, it would go back to the high setting in this case after that two minutes. And if you want the max setting to continue, you'd push the button again. And for that two minute period, both of these pumps run continuously. And if you're constantly hitting that max button over and over again every two minutes, uh, that would last about 30 minutes with a full tank of de-ice fluid. Okay, so that was the airframe and prop de-ice. I said the windshield system is kind of a separate system. It draws from the same tank, but otherwise it's separate. Um, it also has two electric pumps uh, that will move the fluid from the tank. Um, and then this bar right here sits in front of the windshield and when the system is on it will spray de-ice fluid up onto the windshield. So the way you use this system is just with a button push. You have this windshield button right here. You press that uh, and it is active for five seconds every time you push it. So it's kind of just a temporary push, sprays for five seconds, and then you keep doing that as much as you need. Uh, so there are also two pumps here, and in this case you can see that pump number two is active. Um, and that is also selected with this pump one, pump two switch. That was also used to select the active pump when you have the high setting on the airframe and prop DI system. Uh, it also applies to the windshield system. So in this case, pump two is selected, so I push the windshield button, and for five seconds, pump two activates and pumps de-ice fluid into this bar right here to spray on the windshield. All right, and then you can see here now we have pump one selected. So in that case, when I press the windshield pump for five seconds, pump one is the active pump uh, for the windshield system. All right, then the last thing I'm going to explain is this alternate switch here. So you can see I've raised the guarded cover over it and moved the switch to the other position. Uh, the purpose of this is in case of some uh, failure in the electrical system. Now, normally these pumps are connected with the left-hand main bus. If I move this switch to the alternate position, it connects pump number two for the airframe and prop system directly to the right-hand main bus. Um, so in case this left one was failed, but you could still have some de-icing capability. And when you do that, it runs continuously in the high setting. So that pump is, number two, is just running continuously, as if you had set it to high. And lastly, the uh, ice light switch. Uh, there are lights in the engine nacelle that shine outward to illuminate the leading edge of the wing, so you can look for ice accumulation there. Uh, that's what this ice light switch does. And then the Anon test setting uh, tests some of the uh, DI system related uh, messages that could pop up on your screen.